if you want to get into tech dsa or data structures and algorithms is literally the only way you can do that and if i know that a lot of people here are also working in service based companies and you want to switch to fang companies then data structures and algorithms is the entry is the gateway using which you can go ahead and switch and i came to know that a lot of you are still paying for courses to learn about data structures and algorithms and i thought okay why not let's just share the top ai tools that you can use to learn about data structures and algorithms because you literally don't need to be paying anything right now so let's go ahead and get into the top 9 things about how you can go ahead and start using ai to learn about data structures and algorithms and in the end i'll also share with you some pro tips which i used to get an offer from amazon microsoft linkedin etc so let's get right into it so a little bit before i get started i came to know that a lot of you have still not subscribed to this channel i help you to get into ai and tech and if this is of interest to you then i think you would you should consider subscribing because you'll get notified about future videos and you won't miss anything new which is happening in ai and tech okay so the number one way that you can use ai to learn about data structures and algorithms is to start with a personalized roadmap now the tool that you can use here is claude or chat gpt so i shared a video about 6 months roadmap to get into tech and some of you said that it's impossible some of you said that it's too slow So what you can do is you can go ahead and customize and create your own roadmap. You literally don't need to be seeing any other roadmap. So what you can do is instead of googling DSA roadmap, you can ask Claude or ChatGPT. That I have two hours a day, and I know only basic Java or let's say any other coding language that you know. So create a twelve-week DSA learning plan with daily tasks, increasing difficulty, and lead code problems for each week. So what you will get is that AI can break it into micro goals. That day one you learn about arrays, and then you will solve some questions. Day two you will practice array rotations, etc. And what you can do is again a bonus tip: you can tell it to adapt to your weak area. So let's say you have you know that you're not strong in some particular area, you can go ahead and ask it to adapt that after each week by pasting your lead code stats. So if you go ahead and paste your lead code stats. you'll be able to get that number 2 is ai powered concept explainers so claude is amazing at code first explanations and you can ask it to explain binary search as if i'm 12 but give a java code example and a visual analogy so what you can do is like finding a word in a dictionary so all of those things can be done very easily if you start using claude so again i think a bonus tip here would be that you can use claude's attachment features So if you go ahead and attach your messy handwritten notes, it can go ahead and create a structured, a very descriptive cheat sheet for you. And one more thing that I would suggest here is that you can ask for progressive explanation. So instead of giving the code to you, ask it to first explain it by some analogy, and then give it some simple code, and then go ahead and talk about the edge cases. Okay, number three is interactive problem solving with. AI. Now this one is very good. I personally tried this out myself. So what you can do is that you can paste a lead code problem into Claude and say that don't give me the solution. Give me only three hints, one at a time, like a coach. So this way you will be problem solving with Claude. And instead of just spoon feeding you, it will go ahead and work with you. So this really just forces active learning. And I think this is very helpful. And if you still have a wrong submission, then you can go ahead and paste your solution. and you can ask it to explain your prob- wrong submission and then also give you a simpler sub problem to solve okay number 4 this one is very good one so this is use reverse engineer interview question so you can use perplexity and claude here so using perplexity you can get the latest fang interview questions you can ask it to give me trending graph problems asked in let's say google or meta interviews and along with solution links and then what you can do is that you can take all of that problems links that you get paste it into chat gpt or claude and then you can ask it to group these by pattern so dfs bfs or dijkstra so you can go ahead and do that and this way you'll be not only will you get the latest interview questions but you'll also get it grouped by pattern so okay number 5 is very good which is build your own lead code tracker with ai so what you can do is you can go to claude or chat gpt and ask it to create a google sheet script 
that auto updates my problem list and highlights weak topics. Okay, number six is code review plus optimization partner. Now, what you can do is you can paste your solution and ask it to review this as a Google interviewer. What edge cases did I miss? Optimize this time and space complexity. So what you can do is that it also teaches you scalability thinking that, okay, what let's say the input has increased from 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 9. And these things can be done very easily using AI. Okay, number seven is simulated mock interviews completely for free. Now, Claude can play interviewer mode. So you can go ahead and paste this prompt into Claude that asks, act as a Google interviewer, ask me a medium hard lead code problem. Do not reveal solution unless I ask for a hint and give me real time feedback on my thinking process. So this is, will be like a complete mock interview that you can get through Claude. And another pro tip I would suggest here is that you can record yourself taking this mock interview, get the transcript from your interview, and then you can paste it into Claude or ChatGPT and ask for communication related feedback as well. So you'll also get problems that you have in your communication and you don't, there's literally no human involved here. So you can just use AI to do that. Okay. Number eight is using multi-agent workflows. So this one is very new and underrated and I would suggest that you start using tools like Replit Agents and what you can do is you can autocomplete tricky code skeletons. So let's say for if you're a complete beginner then you might not know but segment trees and tries they consist of a lot of boilerplate code and you really don't want that. So what you can do is that you can get these create a Replit agent for you which can go ahead and automate autocomplete these tricky code solutions and it can give you a boilerplate code so that you just have to focus on the solution okay number nine is very very important and a lot of you all ask that you don't have community you don't have friends to practice with especially if you are from a tier three college then you don't have friends or community that you can practice with so what you can do is you can go to perplexity and also pro tip that if you're a student you can go ahead and get perplexity pro subscription along with airtel perplexity can find hidden resources for you it can find communities for you so just go ahead and give it this prompt that find free dss study groups on discord that are active in 2025 and then it will go ahead and give you a list of uh, coding communities which are on discord and active in 2025 then you can go ahead and discuss you can go ahead and make online friends which i literally just had and i had no one to practice coding along with me with so i used to do it all alone and you should go ahead and do that as well and another thing that i'll suggest is learning in public i always say that i got most of my opportunities because i was in the public eye because i was learning in public and you can do that too so you can use ai to draft linkedin post of what you learned each week so it this accountability and it also creates your own personal brand so that's it for the video i hope you liked it and you got a lot of clarity about how you can use ai to learn data structures and algorithms because it's very very important and a lot of companies are going to be hiring with the AI, new ai tools and ai products coming out so data structures and algorithms is the only way that you can get into top tech companies and make sure you subscribe and like this video and please don't wait start coding right now comment yes and share this with someone who you think can help from this or you think will benefit and i'll see you in my next one until then bye bye